lovely and darling viewers, it's Jen here at Check Her Joy. This time I'm going to review the comics I got for free comic book day. I have the Catwoman um, Under the Moon, Doctor Who's 13th Doctor 1, Riverdale Season 3, Casper Spooksville, and the Buffy the Vampire Slayer slash Firefly one. So I'll do each of these separately and what I thought of them. So starting off with the smallest one I have, Under the Moon is a Catwoman kind of prequel comic. It is one chapter from an upcoming Catwoman graphic novel and there's also a teaser for um, Teen Titans Raven which is also going to be another graphic novel coming from DC. I'll post all the comic artists and writers down in the description below guys. There's a ton of them since there's five comics and multiple artists and storylines in each one. So. so the Catwoman comic follows a teenage Selena Kyle before she becomes Catwoman and goes evil. And we get to see her befriending a cat and taking it in. So Selena is living with her mother and I think it's her mother's boyfriend um, who's a drunk and just not great. And Selena doesn't feel like she has anybody. She feels very alone and disconnected. So she finds this cat that's like following her and she takes it home and hides it in the closet and cares for it. And that's a sweet storyline until we get to the end and the, the boyfriend is a little bit mean to the cat. <laughs> it's nothing too violent or abusive in this comic, although the uh, front of this does warn that the actual graphic novel is like a 15 plus, even though the comic, the like sample in here is appropriate for all ages. So I feel like that comic's gonna get darker, but it is basically a self-contained chapter and story. I like this one because it does basically end and we have like a full story arc in here about what's happening with Selena and this one particular cat that she adopts. Um, so it has a conclusion and it feels finished. The other one is a preview for Teen Titans Raven, which I don't know anything about Raven and there's only a few pages in here so definitely just kind of a teaser thrown in. So we are following this teenage girl named Raven who can, I think it's hear thoughts and feel other people's emotions and her friend takes her to this video shop to introduce her to this card reader, a, a tarot card reader. And before Raven can even have her cards read, the person recognizes her as an empath. And this just like intrigues her. Like, how did you know that? How come I can't read your thoughts? What's going on? And so we have this a little bit sinister. So we have this mysterious vibe going on with like, what's going on with Raven? What's going on with this, um, what's going on with this shop? It's definitely an interesting comic, and I, 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 I'm intrigued, I will say. But it also ends on a cliffhanger, which is not my favorite thing for, like, the single issue um, free comic book day ones. Like, I want them to end. I want them to have, like, finished story arcs and be concluded. I am really bad at, like, waiting for the next comic. Like, I am going to forget about this by the time I see or have money or a chance to get... The graphic novel like I will have just completely forgotten about it so I I don't think they work very well for me to have like the teasers so on the whole I would rate the Catwoman storyline as like a four star and the Raven one a three just because it's so short it's only a few pages long it doesn't really go anywhere and it just feels like it's a teaser rather than any kind of concluded story next up I have the Doctor Who one which is the one I was most excited and anxious to get because last year I did not get the Doctor Who comic and I was disappointed so this one follows the 13th Doctor with her main companions of Ryan, Yaz, and Graham. It's just like a short little fun side story with the Doctor. It's completely in line with the 13th Doctor comics, which I love because I've already been reading her the 13th Doctor series, and it's just a one-shot story. So this story has the Doctor and her companions landing at this amusement park. It's, a, it's in space on a different planet, and basically just an alien amusement park. It's so much fun. I love the little nods to like what it's like in the summer um, and riding the roller coasters and stuff. The main plot line in this follows Graham trying to play one of the like carny style games with like a ball that you throw and you've got to like beat the game. Anyway, he loses the game and doesn't realize that when you lose the game, you forfeit your freedom. And so he gets taken into this prize pool with everybody else who has lost the game. And the only way to get the person back is for somebody else to play the game and win it. And so now the doctor has to win the game 
to get Grant back. It's a really short, really sweet, really cute story. The fact that Graham gets captured never really feels that perilous. Like, it's Doctor Who. Somebody gets captured every other week. So this is not... <laughs> it's not like... There's no imminent danger of him dying or something, just him losing his freedom. So you're like, the Doctor's gonna solve it. It's fine. Um, so I liked this one. Game ready for summer and getting to go to King's Island, guys. Alright, so next up I have Casper Spooksville. This is three main um, Casper story arcs, um, kind of separate. They all follow Casper the Friendly Ghost and his friends, which they're a little bit spooky, which I loved. Like, as a kid, I loved Casper's cart. Like, I loved the Casper cartoons as a kid, so I was excited to see this as a comic now. Um, Casper's adorable, and he just wants to be friends with everybody. But also, he's a ghost, and he just, like, scares everybody just by existing, and it's quirky and fun. Um, so the storylines in here, there are three of them. The first one is called Blow Off Some Scream, in which Casper's friend Spooky, who is another ghost, um, is upset because his girlfriend and him had a fight, and she threw him out, and so he takes Casper out for the night and Spooky just wants to scare everybody but also he's having like a mental breakdown because his girlfriend's um, breaking up with him and so Casper is trying to resolve that and get them back together. So that one was cute. The second storyline in here is the big switcheroo which has Wendy the witch, Hot Stuff the devil, and Casper. So they're all friends, they all have their different abilities and in this one Hot Stuff throws a water balloon at Wendy at a moment when her wand is broken and a spell goes wrong and all three of them end up switching bodies and it's just a really crazy storyline and getting to see them all have different like they still have their powers even though they look like each other and like the last storyline in here is Man from Mars in which Casper meets a new friend but this friend thinks that he is a spaceman from Mars and Casper decides to go along with it because it's better than explaining that you're a ghost because this kid thinks he's awesome because he's a Martian. So he goes through this plan of building a spaceship and taking him on this journey up to Mars. And I love all the little things that Casper does to make, I think it's a rabbit in here, um, think that he is actually in a rocket ship traveling through space and landing on Mars. So This one was really cute and adorable, and I'm definitely going to give this one four stars. Um, I forgot to rate the Doctor Who one. I'm going to say the Doctor Who one stands on its own. It was totally fun and what I love, so I'm going to go with five stars for Doctor Who. I also have Riverdale Season 3. This one follows the television show Riverdale rather than the Archie comics that have been happening. So the storylines and the characters are a little bit different. So in this one we have School Picture Day and also voting on the yearbook superlatives. So like most popular, most likely, whatever. Anyway, part of this is around with the pictures and Cheryl freaking out about the lighting. And then another part of this is following the support, super, super, why did they have to pick this word? Superlative plot line in which somebody puts in nominations for Cheryl and several of the others and very unflattering things. So like Cheryl is most likely to commit twin cest. So Cheryl is pissed about this scandalous thing that got put in the yearbook nominations. Um, and she goes to figure out who did it, and it just kind of stops at that point. It's like we don't actually resolve it, we don't actually know who nominated them, which is not my favorite. So this one's like a three, it has a good promise, but it doesn't conclude, it doesn't leave me satisfied, and I just, I don't know. Another one where I'm probably not going to get to get to the, like the whole storyline till later, because I like to read them once they're all out. There is also a sneak peek at the Riverdale Student Handbook, which is like a book coming out. It's kind of like a scrapbook of Riverdale, the show. And there is also a preview for Riverdale A Day Before, which is a prequel novel to the show about what was happening the day before everything in that show kicks off. Last up, we have Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Firefly. So there are actually three storylines in here. They're all prequels. So, like, they start off a couple pages and then just stop. Not my favorite, as I've said before. 
Um, the first one is Firefly, and it doesn't have any of the characters from the show that I recognize, so it was not my favorite. Um, so it's like a space cowboy show, and we are on this farm, and we have this monster thing attacking, and this mysterious character called Major Moon shows up, and she is sent to help with a bunch of brown coats in the area that are still causing problems even though the war has ended and they've lost. And so she, the sheriff tries to get her to help and stop them. There's a little bit of a showdown. It's kind of got a climax to it. It was a little bit interesting. But also I want Firefly. I want the crew from the ship and everything, not random side characters. Next up we have a Buffy the Vampire storyline in here. It has Buffy showing up at this like mystical relic shop and she needs to pick up this one relic that is kind of like a treasure map or something that she needs for the Hellmouth and defeating the vampires. So this one's kind of vague about what she's doing. It's kind of got some cute interactions between Buffy and the um, shop owner who's like, who are you? What, why should I give this to you? And then Buffy's like, I'm the Slayer. And she's like, oh, Slayer. Okay. Maybe we can talk now. So it also didn't go where I thought it was going to go. So that one's got some promise to it. And then the last storyline in here sees Buffy working at a fast food shop. And she goes on her break. She goes outside. She sees a vampire. She's a slayer. She kills said vampire. And then she meets Willow and Xander for the first time. And they don't know her. And it's interesting. So in this one, I liked the Buffy storylines better because I know Buffy. I know Xander and Willow. Like, these are characters that I recognize from the show. So points for that. These also feel a bit more concluded than the Firefly one. Like, there's definitely still a teaser and a what happens next moment to them. That they want you to go get the next comics. But they feel a little bit more concluded, like the Catwoman one, where there's still this open-ended thing of what happens next. But, like, that particular episode is, like, somewhat finished, even if the entire show isn't, sort of thing. But the Firefly one, I just wasn't interested in at all. Firefly, I gave two stars. Both of the Buffy ones are, like, three and a half stars. Maybe even a four star. Like, I'm definitely intrigued and want to check out the rest of those series, eventually, if I remember. The Firefly one, I'm not so excited. Like, I don't really, I don't care. I don't. I don't want to, no. I don't want to read the rest of Moon Story. <laughs> there are the comics that I picked up on Free Comic Book Day. Let me know in the comments below if you managed to grab any of these and what you thought of them. Did you pick different comics? And um, were they any good? Should I be hunting them down? So peace out. I love you guys and keep reading. Bye.